Entering a World War I trench. Perfect weather for being in a trench. You can't go in there because it's filling with groundwater every whatever. It's how they keep it open from caving in. Got a gun cord here. Oh. I think I'm going to sit here and pull myself up. I don't know if I can. You can lean on the shoulders. Oh, no, it's okay. I'll just go back. What's the problem this way? You have to jump down. I'm going to go for it. Still recording a video. So the staircase is marked the both ground. This one is 23 meter long staircase. Oh yeah, just swim down. Go down there to the ground. Let's do a ground walk in there. Don't break the top of the water. So this goes down 23 meters, he said. Oh my god, could you imagine being in there? It's full of water all the way down. Yeah, this is original, the cave it in part, so these gravel lines mark where the trenches actually were. The uh, ditches, like original other trenches, so that little part she's standing in is a little trench, that would have been the next line. <laughs> oh, you better. So, this sort of in the command post over here. There's a parking lot there because people got to live in their country. Yeah, I did. Bunk room? Yeah, this is a bunk room. So, some bunk dudes would have lived in that tiny Another little area. More bunk room. So, this is where you would be living underground when you went out fighting. can get a shot of that cartoon for you. There's a gunsmith room under that crosswalk, but they filled it with concrete so that they could uh, keep it from collapsing. But I want to get a shot of this cartoon so you get an idea of what it actually looked like. So there you go. That's what this thing looks like. 
So we're going to talk all about this stuff when we get into World War I, guys. That's called the Yorkshire Trench dugout. All right. 